So you want to create a header or navigation or menu or whatever it is called for your website. Now, I think it's very important to have one because that's the way people are navigating through your website. Now, I will be fair. I've needed some time to find the right place where I could add the navigation of my website, but I found it and I'm here to help you out as well. So let's get to it. So here we are on the homepage and the first thing we need to do is go to our dashboard. So let's do that. So let's go into bricks now for their header they use templates we can find templates inside bricks and templates and here we can add a new one if we give it a name let's give it a name like navigation and on the right hand side so above me we'll set the template to header as you can see there's also some other options if you would like this template to be used as a footer single section pop-up archive search results or error page you have different kinds of options there let's publish and then add it with bricks now the template is created now we need to add our navigation items we first start off with adding a section because that's how those are built and then we'll add our logo we type in logo and the logo will be added now we see already our url in there or our website name as part of the logo we can click the logo and select an image. I don't have any logo right now, so I will use one from Logo Ipsum. There will be a link for Logo Ipsum down below if you just want a dummy logo. I select files and here we have the logo I want to use. So I select that one and open it up. This is an SVG and because we have set a setting in the previous video, there will be a card up there we can upload svgs so we insert this one and now our logo is inside our bricks builder the next up is adding the navigation let's add a nav menu and now you see that there is no nav items found because we haven't created our menu yet so what we need to do is to manage my menus in wordpress by clicking that link you go to your menu edit section and it's part of the WordPress dashboard. You can also navigate to appearance and the menus. Let's call this main menu and create the menu. Now for now, I only have one page, but if you have multiple pages, it works in a similar way. We go to most recent one. And if you don't see your page, we can also press a view all. And in here, we see that there's the home page. We select that one by ticking the box and press add to menu. I can also add posts. You can also add custom links. So if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, perhaps there will be a link in this demo. As you can see, you can fill in your URL and you can fill in the name you would like to use, add to menu and will be added as well. You can also add categories if you'd like to. Uh, I don't have them right now, but at least there's a place where you can show them. You can also set it out to auto add top level pages, but I won't be doing that right now. And then you hit save menu. Then when you go back to bricks, you'll see that the menu isn't added directly. So first we need to hit save because else our changes will be gone. And then we will refresh the page. And when this is refreshed and you see that our main menu is now selected and home and subscribe is already in our menu. Then we select the container because I don't think this option looks the best and want them to be side by side. So we set it to side by side. And also like to align them in the center. That looks nicer. So we go to align cross axis and hit center. And now it's center aligned. Next, I want to change the color a little bit because I think that looks a little bit better. So we go to our section that is the full width of this section. And we give this a class. Now, why do we use classes? Because it's saving reusable settings on every page as a name. So if we enter navigation and hit enter, if we want to use that class on different places, we can do that. This will help out for instance, when we select a color and we want to reuse it on different places, then the same color is used. Now for the background for our menu, you can pick any, choose for a very black one, but it doesn't work well with the logo because now it is not readable. I think this works nicely. Next, we want to have a little bit spacing between the logo top line and the bottom section of the zero. So we go to layout and we'll add some padding. In here, we can add all kinds of unit of measures. For this, I select 
0.5 EM, which means that is 0.5 EM, but you can omit the zero and just enter 0.5. Now I see that the top padding is done correctly, but the bottom pedal padding isn't there. We can just simply copy and paste this in there. What we also can do is select the links icon. When you press it once, the opposite sides will be linked. So if we fill it in the top section, you see that it automatically fills in in the bottom section as well. And if we fill something in, in the left panel, you see padding left. You see also it being added to the padding right. If you want all the sections to be the same, you can just type it in once and everything will be the same. Now I like to have a little bit of different paddings on top, bottom and left and right. So I will change it like this. And there we have a nice navigation. If we hit save and look at our website, we see that there's our navigation and it's here as well because automatically the navigation is enabled on every page. If you don't want that, you need to go to settings and then go to the theme styles, go to conditions. And in here you can select if it's either seen on the entire website or on specific pages, specific posts, archives, etc etc every other custom post type will also be shown here if you're using that you can also select exclude if you want to show on every page except for a specific page for this instance we wanted to show on every page so we keep it as is now we have a navigation added but i don't think my homepage is looking good so let's let's fix that real quick we go to our pages and we see that my homepage is in draft so we need to change that first we go to edit and then hit publish, hit publish again, and our page is now live. And as you can see, here's our page live. Fresh the home page. You don't see that the home page isn't really the home page. So we need to change that in the settings. We go back to our WordPress dashboard, go to settings, go to reading, and in here we select a static page because we want to set it the page that it shows as a home page. Then select, and you can select your home page in here. And then we hit save and when we do that and we refresh this page you will see that there's our home page on most sites you will see that the navigation is sticking to the page just like the admin bar from wordpress if we scroll down there's no navigation it's all gone so how can we fix that we go back to our navigation inside settings and then template settings you can change your header you can change the location but also if it's sticky or not and that we would like to set to active and if we hit save refresh the page you will see that our header is now sticky and if we say slide up after this amount of pixels for instance 20 and we hit save and we scroll down you see that it hides and if we scroll up it shows again now this is one of my preferred ways of adding a navigation because it's hidden people know that it is there and that it's on the top of the page. But if you scroll just slightly upwards, you already see your navigation, which tremendously help for ease of use. So I would recommend setting the sticky header or sticky on scroll, but at the end, add the slide up as well. You can also change the text color when scrolling. So for instance, we want this to be very bright when scrolling and on the top side, it needs to be a different color. This can be useful if you want a transparent header on the top and when you scroll down you want a different color for your heading. Also specific for this template you can set when it's shown. You go to conditions, add a new condition, select where it's shown and you can also select individually and then you can select the individual pages where this navigation is shown. For instance you want a different navigation or menu bar on landing pages compared to the overall navigation of your website. This is choosing conversion and it is shown that when you don't give people the option on the landing page to navigate elsewhere they will stay longer on the landing page so that's just something to take into mind you can also populate content but that isn't really relevant for our website now that we have made our menu we would also like to change something on mobile version because if you look on the mobile version it looks very attached to the logo and doesn't really look nice so what we can do is change our flex position with selecting our container and in the aligned main axis you can set the default way 
of aligning and if we choose space between it will align to either side in this case if we then hit save you see that on desktop it looks like this and on mobile looks like this if you view our website itself you can see that this is still true and if we press ctrl shift i to open up in our inspector now i am using edge but most of the websites should use the same we can click this icon that will toggle our device and here we can see the version on mobile and if we press the hamburger menu you see that your navigation will be opening and closing when pressing the button now in our previous video we imported a community template there were predefined colors there but i would like to change the colors because these are not the colors that are part of my brand to understand how you can do that click the video up there and as always thank you for watching keep designing